Today, the kids, not me, are playing Harry Potter, Hogwarts Battle, Defense Against the Dark Arts. Now, this is the two-player version. There is a version that has for more than two players. We don't have that one. Uh, there was a misunderstanding with mom and dad at the store, and we ended up getting this one instead, but we still love it. But this is only for two players, and we're going to walk you through how to play. It's a deck building game, so we'll show you how to set up the board here. So the board is very small. Looks just like that. Okay, so we've already had we already have everything into library into um, Ziploc baggies. Makes it a little bit easier to set up. So Ryder split up. Ryder opened the library books right here. And those go at the top of the board, and it's very laid out. Library, for the library books, your classroom is going to go over here. So what Ryder's going to do, I'm going to show what he's going to do, and then I'll move over to what Lily's doing. Ryder's going to take all these cards, and he's going to shuffle them into one huge pile. Okay? Lily, okay, we got Cat coming through here, and out of the way. Lily, you can see we have the house cards along the top. Each player will choose a house that they want to play for. They are double-sided and not the same house, so that means that both players could play the same house and each have their own card. So Lily has sorted the starting cards into piles. And she's going to show them to you as she'll point them out as I name them. So there are ally starters, the owl, the toad, and the cat. Allies give you bonuses on each turn. Lily, what's your favorite one to have? The owl. The owl. So the owl allows you to save tokens from turn to turn. Ryder, which, which one do you like? The owl. He likes the owl, too. Uh, when mom plays, I like using the toad. I like getting a heart each time. Okay? So you get to choose your starting ally. The rest of the allies go into the box. They're not used. How's your shuffling going over there? Good. Then... Once each player has chosen their ally, their starting ally, each player also gets one wand. So Lily showed them the wand. That's those ones there. And then they each get one cauldron. Then there's the Alohomora cards, the purple ones, and each player gets seven of those. This is now your starting deck. There should be 10 cards in each person's deck. I'll take those cards there, Ryder. So each player takes their starting deck and they shuffle them. The classroom cards, like I said, go into this corner. Then you lay out the top four. One, two, three. Ooh, have to make some room here. And four. These cards can be purchased. Just hang on there, Ryder. I'm just going to show this part here. Down here in the corner, that's how many tokens it costs to buy that card. And then in the middle, that tells you what that card does. So this one happens to give you two hearts when you play it. And you can also banish a card. We'll get into all that kind of stuff later. Which one? Ravenclaw. 
Okay, so Lily has chosen to play Ravenclaw. How about you, Ryder? Hufflepuff. Which is yellow. The rest of the house cards go away. On your house card, it does show you what to do on each turn. Resolve hexes, generate effects, and end your turn. At the top, you can see these three spaces with the skulls. That represents how many times you've been stunned. Once you've been stunned three times, game over, the other person wins. Okay, cameraman will zoom in. These are the stun tokens. Okay, move those to the side here. These are the tokens. The, the player pawns that show you where you are. So if you are here, you have a lot of health. Every time somebody plays an attack on you, you move towards the end one. Every time you play a heart, you move back towards the middle of the board. These are the money tokens. That's how you purchase the cards from the classroom. There's a whole bunch of them here. Okay. The hexes, we don't have the hexes out. I think we forgot that bag. Oh, thank you, Ryder. Thank you. Where's the hexes? Oh, we have lots of visiting cats up on our table now. Show me those, just one of them. You can shuffle the rest. These are hex cards, they're bad things when bad things happen to you. If you have one of these in your hand, you have to play it first. So this hex allows, you can only play two spells this turn. It'll all make sense when, once we explain the cards. Down in this corner is the banished cards. Those cards are out of the game forever. You can banish hexes, and you can also banish these kind of cards up here. Okay, so to start the game, to start your turn, Ryder's going to start, and the first thing you do is draw five cards. So he's already done that. Once you have the five cards in your hand, okay, we have a friend. This friend usually never comes to see us. Oh, no. Okay, so once you have your five cards in your hand, you play them in whatever order to generate. So he, the first card he played was his ally. The ally will stay in front of him until Lily banishes it or discards it, or it's they get stunned. The purple cards that you can see, those are spells. These yellow ones are items. So he played all these cards. The two spells give him one token each. So he now has two tokens. Yeah, that's a perfect place. Then the camera can still see it right there. The wand gives him... <laughs> She's climbing, that's okay, here. The wand gives him one attack and the cauldron gives him either one token or one heart. What are you going to go with? Um, one token. A token. So as you can see, he has one attack. So use your attack. He's going to attack Lily. And then he has three tokens. So what are you going to buy with three tokens? I'm going to buy these books. Some library books. So the library books go beside his draw pile, and that's his discard. He's finished using all his cards. Thank you. So those cards will now go on top of the library cards to form the rest of his discard pile. And then it's Lily's turn. So Lily has picked up her five cards, and now she's going to play them. 
She played her ally. Oh, and as you noticed, Ryder did not put his ally back into the discard pile. You don't do that only if you're told to do it. So the ally stays with you. Okay, what else are you going to play, Lily? Ooh, three spell cards. And each of those gives her one token. So I'll give her those. And what else are you going to play? And a wand. So one attack. Okay. So she's going to attack her brother. And use three coins. What are you going to buy? Ooh. Okay. So show what you bought. It was worth two. She bought a spell. So she had one left over. Normally, that one would be garbage. But because she chose the owl as her ally, she gets to save one token at the end of each turn on her owl to use at another time, on another turn. So that is the bed. That's your benefit of having the owl as an ally. And her turn's done. Right here. Oh, sorry. Yes, once you take from here, you flip over another card from the classroom. Hey, right, Ryder. Five cards are. Oh, oh. He got five Aloha Moras. That's five tokens. What are you going to buy? What is that? Um, potions kit. The potions kit. Okay. So, oh, now I'm going to show. So, Ryder, were there any cards left in your draw pile? No. So he takes his discard reshuffles it now i think there's about 12 cards in there yeah. he's gonna shuffle put it down and draw his next five lily your turn four four tokens there you, oh, there you are and one more okay so she played the cauldron which she gets a heart or a token she's chosen a token so she has five tokens plus one on Owl. So she actually has six tokens if she wants to use it. Mm -hmm. She is. What are you buying with six tokens? Here, I can pass it to you. Which one? Not sure? Cave in, in a nickel. Oh, okay. So a spell. All right, and it's Ryder's turn. He's picked up his five. What order are you going to play him? One, two, three. Okay, so he gets three tokens. So I'm taking that one, Cauldron. Cauldron, he's taking another token. One, one, and one. Okay, so the potions kit gives him one token, one attack, and one heart. Mm -hmm. It's an awesome card. So five. So he's got five tokens. How are you gonna? What are you gonna buy? Okay, remember that goes into your discard pile. Yep, perfect. So he's used his five tokens, and then he has one attack. So he healed himself, and he attacked his sister. And his turn's over. Lily. Three tokens. One attack. One attack. And, 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 token. and another token. Okay. And these little things that I'm putting in front of the kids, you don't have to use them. If you can keep track in your head, you can definitely do that. Um, that's how I usually do it. I usually just keep track of it in my head, but I know the kids like to use the actual physical ones. Just helps you remember what you've done and what you haven't. And Lily's turn is already over. Go ahead, Four. Ryder. Four. Four. And one attack. And an attack. I'm buying Accio and I'm saving one on his turn. Okay, so he got to save one of those tokens on his owl and attacked his sister. So you can see his sister, Lily needs to heal up here before she gets to this stun. Otherwise, this round will be over. Lily, your turn. What are you doing? Three influence. Influence is what these, I, I call them tokens because to 
me that's what they are, but they are called influence. Um, two hearts. Okay, so she played one of her new spells, and that new spell gives her two hearts. And... What did you do there? Two influences. But what said, did you... What does um, your card say? Nice and loud. Reveal the top of your card, the top card of your deck. If it has a value of four influence or more, draw that card. Otherwise, gain two. Okay, so she got to look here. She got to peek at it. It obviously was worth less than four, so she gets two more influence tokens. Okay, okay so... Oh, hang on, she's got to spend over here. Okay, there's three. She saves one, and then she does lose one. And she healed up twice. All right, Ryder. One, two, three. Three influence tokens, okay. Four, five. Two more. Okay, so he used the library books to get more influence. Okay. Two attacks and a heart. Ooh, and a new spell. I'm going to point this one out, though. Some spells, is it just spells or items, too, that are colored? Uh, multiple. Okay, so some, some cards are colored. So you can see this one's red. At the very bottom, you can see an extra bonus that you get to do if you belong to this house. Ryder does not. He belongs to Hufflepuff, not Gryffindor. Okay, So he only gets the top bonus. So he gets two attacks and a heart. If he was a um, Gryffindor, couldn't remember, he would also get to draw a card. Sorry, what was that? Two attacks and a heart. A heart. I'm mm -hmm. using the owl. Okay. Uh, for six influence. Okay. And I am buying two books. Two books. Okay. And then he's got two attacks and a heart. Mm -hmm. Okay. Did you do that already? Nope. Okay. And it's Lily's turn. Three influence. Okay. Two hearts. Okay. Two influence. And two more influence. All right. Here's your loot. And sometimes this game can go really long. Um, depending on how much you heal and how much... Ryder and I played one game, I think, in 15 minutes. Remember that really quick game that we played that time? Mm -hmm. It was so fast. Yeah, so the game that Ryder and I were playing, um, Ryder won. Do you remember that? He, he, and you beat me really bad, mm -hmm. really quick every turn. So some games can go really quick. Oh, we forgot to fill in the classroom here. Don't forget to do that. Lily, your turn. What do you get? I just want to. Oh, is it right or is it your turn? Oh, okay. Okay. One, two, three, we, four, When five. we take brain breaks here, we kind of forget whose turn it is. Talking. Five. Five and one attack. Okay. I'm going to buy flagrant, I think. And flagrant. I'm and store one. Thing. Okay. Lily's turn. One, three influence. Okay. One attack. Mm-hmm. And... A heart. And a heart. Okay, there you go. So this was our very first deck building game. How much do you guys love deck building games? Oh, yeah. Are they your favorite type of game now? Mm, go. No? Probably. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you like deck builders. They are fun. All right, Ryder, your turn again. And of course, it's Harry Potter, so. Everybody One, loves two, Harry three, Potter. Four, four, five, six. Six influence tokens. 
seven. You could. And buying two books. So the strategy that we have found works is in the beginning buy as many library books as possible because they give you the most influence. Then you get lots of influence and you can buy the really cool cards that are in the classroom. So all library books are gone now. So until somebody returns their library books, that's it. Lily's turn. I'm never returning. You're never returning yours? No. What about the late fees? Two influence. Oh no. Two influence. Okay. Two hearts. Okay. What else? Um, one influence and one heart. One influence, one heart. Okay. And two influence. Okay. There's your pile. Almost let her. How many are you spending, or are you gonna are you gonna keep one on your owl? And you can keep as many on your owl as possible, but when the ally has to be put back into the deck, you will lose all those influence tokens. So just be careful. Ooh, an ally's on the table. One, two, three, four. So that's four. Four. Oh, okay. I can get that. What else? What are you doing next? Are you banishing? Yep. Yeah. Okay. So banishing cards means they're gone forever. So he banished three cards from the classroom. This was from last time. I'll just take three. Um, and then one. These are all your other ones. Two and okay. Four. Lily, can you put those cards into the banish pile? Um, Okay, so refill the classroom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And seven. If you want to use that one. So what are you going to do? Eight. And he bought two cards. Okay, Lily's turn. Two influence. Okay. One attack. Two attack and a heart. Oh my, okay. Two influence. Two influence. There you go. What are you gonna do? Yeah, and so you will see the kids looking at the top card on their deck. That's, if a card tells you to do that, that's what happens. I don't know if anybody has drawn a card yet. Has anybody done that? Uh, nope. Okay, well, well, we'll get there when the time comes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, my. One, two, three, four. Go. Oh, you don't need them. Okay, so he got six tokens. So, see, he didn't use the to any of these tokens this time, so. Six. Six. I don't need those. You're just going to do it in your head? Okay. What are you buying? Actually, I do need one. Okay. Okay. No? I think the most important... Go ahead, Ryder. I think the most important things to remember are the purple cards are spells. And then you have the yellow okay. item, uh, items. But they say right on them, so it's... Go. Go. And she was just shuffling her cards. Oh, thank you. Two attack and one heart. Okay. One influence. Yep. Two influence. Yep. And I get to draw a card. Oh, and draw a card. Okay, so... Beginner's mistake. If you've never played a deck building game before, which we never had, you do not choose a card from the classroom. You choose it from your own deck. And that might, might sound obvious to people 
you know, to big gamers and stuff like that. But it was nowhere in the instructions. And for the longest time, we were choosing new cards from the classroom. So all it means is you draw another, so you wouldn't have five cards in your hand, you'd have six. One influence. Oh, another influence. Okay. Two influence. And two more. And two more. And two more. Ooh. This is where, at this point in the game, you are getting more and more influence, so you can buy those really good cards from the classroom. Ooh. Ryder. You're almost stunned. You got some health in that hand? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh oh. You may be in trouble. Okay. One, okay, two, your turn. Three, four, five, six. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so he's banishing. And he, he has a card. He must have a card that if you banish, you get coins, tokens. So he's got 10 tokens. So how are you going to... I could gonna... have 11. You could have 11. I think I'd want to use the 11. Yep. That's what I would have gone for. Okay, Lily. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, okay. So... Ryder had a card in his hand that made Lily discard her ally. And so she lost, and not banished, just discarded, went back, she, she'll get it back. But she lost her influence tokens. Um, three influence. Okay. One influence, one heart, and I have two okay. heart. One attack. One attack. Um, one influence and one heart. All right. Okay, so she has an attack, but she's not using it yet because she knows it's going to stun Ryder. So she's using everything else so that she can finish her turn because as soon as she uses that attack, he's stunned and the game is reset. So what that means, all your cards, including your allies, well, yes, it means that he gets the stun token. All the cards in front of you, including your allies, gets reshuffled. All the tokens go back to the start. The game area is clear now. And then they're just going to start again. And I think we've covered everything. The only thing that we didn't cover, Ryder has one, so I'm going to show this. Can I see your ally? Yep. Uh, I think it was Hermione. Yep. Very tough. All right, there you go. Okay, so some allies have that color around them again. If you play this ally, you are now part of that house. Okay, so you don't have to be stuck being only one color house. If you have allies out, you are that house as well. So when these cards come, do you have any of these red ones? Um, yes, I do. So mm -hmm. next time he plays this item, if she is in front of him, he would get to use the bonus on this item. But only if she's played, not if she's in the discard pile. So that's just another way to become a part of a different house. Have I covered everything, you guys? What do you think? Yeah. Covered pretty much everything? Okay. So we're going to go into round two. All right. And it's Ryder's turn. We're almost done here. So. Okay. So, Lily's been stunned twice. Stunned this, so three. Um, one and that. Um, one attack. And she's stunned. Okay. okay. Take your little stun token there, Lily. Okay. And that is Harry Potter, Hogwarts Battle, Defense Against the Dark Arts. You guys love this one? 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like it. Even though it's a two-player game? Mm -hmm. It's nice to play a two-player game every once in a while. Mm -hmm. Okay. So yes, uh, for organization, we use labeled baggies. Library cards go in one, starter cards go in another, the tokens go in one, and the classroom cards go in one, and the hexes. So we just sort all the cards at the end of the game and get ready for next time. So that's it. So keep playing and have fun.